Hello and welcome, welcome everyone to A Course in Miracles 365, Awakening to Love. My name is Tomas Garza and I'm very excited to be here with you today. This is the first of a daily live stream here on Enlightened World Network. So I want to spend a little bit of time here talking about a Course in Miracles today as far as an introduction, but first let me introduce myself. I've been on EWN for the past couple of days, actually testing out the webinar system on Restream here and giving a, a little bit of an introduction on A Course in Miracles and myself by means of a quick promo. So thank you all for tuning in. And what I want to talk about is what my own experience with this remarkable and really wonderful and transformative spiritual text has meant. I have been a course student since 2013, and I've also taught about A Course in Miracles. I've written a blog called Change Without Limits. Some of you may, uh, may have subscribed to that Facebook page. I'm streaming to that page right now. I wrote a blog about it, and I've hosted some groups and some seminars about A Course in Miracles. Now, in the time that I've been studying this, my life and my entire experience has changed tremendously. And I do mean tremendously. This has been such an eye-opening and gratifying and awakening experience. And this course has challenged me in ways that I'm grateful for, and I will absolutely say I was not necessarily grateful for this at the time. However, with all authentic spiritual paths, with all spiritual traditions, it's all about the, the work on ourselves. And of course, any spiritual text that one commits to, any practice that one's com one is committed to is going to show the uncomfortable thing the areas that we need to work on. And in this case, with the Course in Miracles, the areas that we need to forgive and show up and extend love to. Because as the title of this live stream talks about, that's really what it's all about, is awakening to love. So this has been a monumental game changer that I was ready for in 2013, after having practiced a number of different world spiritual traditions, I was raised in a Christian tradition, fairly fundamentalist. If you have seen the Focus on Lightworkers interview that I did with, with Dr. Ruth Anderson last week, you'll know that I was one of those kids that asked the tough questions in Sunday school all the time, such as, okay, well, if God is perfect love, why are we sitting here talking about punishment? Do I have an answer for that? The adults didn't, and they were quite happy, I'm sure. I'm sure that they were quite happy when I left in, oh, when I was about 15, 16 years old, left that church and never went back. <laughs> so that was my upbringing. So what this means is that I'm quite familiar, and I was when I, the course found me in 2013, not the other way around, of course. When the course found me in 2013, I was quite comfortable with Western spiritual terminology, like God, like Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the course, A Course in Miracles, uses those terms. It also uses terms from Eastern philosophy, such as the ego, and the ego and the idea, the concept of the ego figures prominently in this particular thought system. And of course is just that, a thought system here. The ego figures prominently in that we've identified with it and all spiritual work, whether you follow this particular tradition or any other is about undoing our attachment to that ego because it's not who we are. It's a sense of separation. And I'll go into that here on this live stream in detail because A Course in Miracles goes into this live in, in great detail. A Course in Miracles delves into how the ego functions 
and it's very insidious and it can be really shocking to well, it was shocking to me the depth at which we've identified with something that is just patently false which it is it's not the reality of who we are so what does a course in miracles seek to do it seeks to awaken us to who we really are and the, the title will tell you love and of course uses terms like god and the holy spirit though god being love, spirit, whatever term you're comfortable with. What I want to say is that anybody can study A Course in Miracles. I'll tell you a little bit about it. It is a spiritual self-study curriculum, and the emphasis on self-study is quite deliberate because nobody is condemning you to a fiery hell if you don't do a lesson a day. Nobody is condemning you to a fiery hell if you forget to meditate every morning, if you have a meditation practice. I mean, unless you're doing that to yourself. And that's part of the point, is that we're responsible for everything. We have free will. We're responsible for all of our thoughts. We're responsible for our speech. We're responsible for our actions. And rather than have that be a burden, it's quite liberating to take ownership of that. And one of the things A Course in Miracles does is it helps us to take that kind of ownership. Now, being a spiritual self-study curriculum, well, what does that mean? If you're not familiar with this, the course is broken down into three component parts. One is a text, two is what they call a workbook for students, and three, there is a manual for teachers, which includes some very, very handy, very helpful, frequently asked questions. That's kind of like an FAQ section of a website, the manual for teachers. The workbook is something that will begin here on this live stream on Monday, February 1st. By the way, to, to preview that, yes, we will be starting with that component and going through that for over a year. Now, the workbook is designed to take a year or more. There are 365 so-called lessons, which are ideas that the practitioner works with and practices every day. Now, if one were to do a lesson a day for 365 days in a year, by design, they would be through the workbook. Now, if you've been through this before, you'll know that the point is not to finish it. The point is to show up each day and do the best that you can do on a given day to practice and to take to heart the lesson that we're talking about. And we'll go through all of those, every single one of them, starting next week. Before that, I want to talk about some of the course philosophy, because as you may know, it uses some terms in different ways. Terms like atonement, for example, terms like Holy Spirit, for example, it takes things like miracle, for example, and uses them in different ways, different ways than we're used to using in common parlance. So if you're brand new to this, it does not, I repeat, it does not matter what your background is spiritually. If you've practiced Eastern philosophy, such as Buddhism or Christian Christianity, Judaism, whatever that is, wherever you're coming from, A Course in Miracles is a beautiful way for you to augment your current practice. And that's what I invite you to do. Whatever your spiritual practice is, if it's working for you, keep it. And I would consider, if you're interested, if you're watching this live stream or the replay here, if you're interested in delving more into this, people find that A Course in Miracles enhances their path. It enhances their understanding of their own spiritual tradition. And that is something that's quite commonplace. It is something that you can most certainly do. And I 
absolutely invite you to do just that. Now, one thing about this live stream, I am streaming to Facebook, YouTube, on Enlightened World Network, on Periscope. I'm streaming to Change Without Limits on my own personal Facebook page. So I do invite your comments and feel welcome to type in your comments here. I'll do my best to answer them right here on the live stream. Now, each live stream will be probably about 10 to 15 minutes. And let's see here if there are any comments, if people are commenting. And uh, I'm gonna turn this volume down so I don't get an echo here. All right. And all right, well, if you have comments, feel welcome to type them in. And if I don't get to them on the actual live stream itself, I will answer them afterwards. So I wanna invite you to tune in. Now the time of this is going to vary. It's going to be all over the place, at least for now. So tomorrow, tomorrow, I will be going live shortly after 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. So I'll usually start this about five minutes after. So about 11.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Now, do you need anything in particular? to follow along with me. Well, number one, first and foremost, you need the will to do that, the desire to do that, and I invite you, you're welcome. Everyone is welcome to join me, no matter where you're coming from, whether you're brand new to A Course in Miracles or whether you've been practicing this thought system longer than I have, and a lot of you have. So we can always learn something new, and that's what I've found throughout my practice of all spirituality, which includes Buddhism, which includes Tibetan Buddhism, lots of meditation. Every time you show up, you learn something new. So that's the first requisite, it's just being here. Now I've got one of these guys. It's a big, and it's worn down from use, a hardbound volume of A Course in Miracles here. You can't read the miracles because this has been literally all over the world with me. But this is the second combined edition. What this means is it includes the text, the workbook for students, and the manual for teachers all in one volume. Now, I'm very old school and kinesthetic, so I prefer to have <clears throat> excuse me, an actual book, a paper book with pages that I can turn. Uh, you may be in that boat. And if you are not, there are a number of online resources for you. There are phone apps, and I do use one of those for when I'm traveling and I don't happen to have this book with me. But if you have one, feel free to pick one up, follow along. Uh, again, not required. The only thing that's required here is that you show up with an open mind. That is, all that we really need to do. We make a decision right now in the present moment that we're going to show up with an open mind and ready to discover some beautiful things about ourselves. What I aim to do on this is to take some concepts, which we'll start going through tomorrow and the rest of this week, and make them accessible. Spirituality is all about experience, and practice. It's not about belief. So if you don't believe or you find that you're not able to believe that A Course in Miracles was dictated to a couple of PhDs from Columbia University in the 1970s by Jesus, if you are unable to believe that or you don't, it doesn't make any difference. One reading of any, any component of this course, would lead you to the conclusion that it's divinely inspired, like a good story. It's divinely inspired. It's really wonderful. Belief is not required. All that's required is curiosity. And because you're watching this, I know you've got that. So again, I invite you to join me here on Enlightened World Network every day. Tomorrow, I'll be going live at approximately 11.35 a.m. And that will be Eastern Standard Time. So thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here. And thank you so much to Enlightened World Network for providing this space for us all to come together. This 
live stream is going to be all about community, all about interaction, and it's about taking these philosophical teachings, some of which can seem esoteric or out there, and making them accessible, and most importantly of all, actionable in your daily life. All right, again, I'm Tomas Garza. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing all of you on here on Enlightened World Network. Have a great rest of your day.